Hello, this is Diana Jarvis from the Young Reporter Scheme, and today I'm speaking with Oriana Campbell Palmer, who did the scheme back in 2017. Welcome, Oriana, and thank you for joining me this afternoon. Hiya. You did the scheme in 2017. You won the photograph category that year and attended our media awards ceremony. Yeah. Oh, I remember the award ceremony. That was that was really fun. I felt so special. <laughs> <laughs> My mum and dad were there and everything. And we were all like really excited. <laughs> That's really lovely. I'm so glad you enjoyed that evening. So going back to your winning photo, was photography a passion of yours? Um, I was considering doing photography A level before I decided on my other A levels. So yeah, it was kind of like a that's something I did in my free time a little bit. But yeah, no, I remember that workshop that I kind of reported on in the photo. Yeah, that was that was fun. I took my brother to that one. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> so what was your experience like doing the young reporter? I think at first I found it hard to kind of manage everything time wise because I was seeing A levels at the same time. But then yeah, once I got into a kind of routine, I really enjoyed it. It was really like I learned a lot as well because I was kind of researching stuff that, you know, I wouldn't have researched if I hadn't done it. Yeah, I mean, it possibly pushes you out of your comfort zone, which is good, which is what we try to do with it, really. When you left school, what did you do next? Um, I took a gap year and I wanted to travel, but I ended up working to save money for uni. And now I study politics and sociology at the University of Leeds and I'm in my second year. Oh, right. And you, you also are involved with a company called INC360. Yeah, I'm a junior researcher for them. It says they're a community interest company. So what, what do they actually do? So they, well, we work in supporting young people um, who are kind of experiencing loneliness and isolation. And we try and kind of improve their mental health by, well, connecting them to community events using immersive video. But yeah, at the moment we're in a... A pilot stage but yeah I, I really love my work with them it's going really well I think I've been working for them maybe well doing my placement with them for maybe I think a month and a bit now it's a good thing that they're doing because I think a lot of people are suffering with loneliness especially young people that maybe don't sort of know how to get out there they're used to a social life and suddenly that's been taken away from them so you know it's good what they're doing so did you find speaking to different people whilst doing the scheme helped you in your current role with the INC 360? Yeah, I think it did. I think it kind of prepared me um, for that. And also, yeah, I mean, I practiced writing and everything, you know, like I have to write reports in my job at the moment. Yeah, and it was a really good kind of foundation to build on, especially, you know, in time constraints and everything. That's what I do every week. I have to work within time constraints. So, yeah, it was really, really helpful. And I really did enjoy it. I kind of miss it, actually. And I also wrote for the uni newspaper. And I had a bit of a kind of throwback because it was like I was doing an article for the Young Report Scheme. Again. Oh, really? That's, yeah. That must have been good, you know, good experience having done the Young Reporter, you know, to sort of understand how it all works. Yeah, and kind of practice different styles of writing and stuff suitable for kind of journalism and things like that. So, yeah. <laughs> so what are your plans now? Um, at the moment, I'd really love to go into policy and I'm about to go on a study abroad year uh, in September um, to Belgium, hopefully, considering COVID and everything. Yeah, fingers crossed to uh, KU Leuven. Leuven. Oh, right. <laughs> and what will you be doing with them? So I think I'll just be studying the same programme. Um, so I'll be taking politics and sociology modules um, there for a year. And I'm really excited. I hope it manages to all work out. Yeah, it's um, very exciting. Be nice, you know, nice experience to live abroad for a year um, mm -hmm. and just experience the way of life out there. So that's your kind of immediate plans for after uni. Are you sort of sounding anything out at the moment or is it too early? Yeah, I think I'd really love to work in policy but I'm also considering going on to master's level specifically in human rights but yeah I, I think I'm just gonna kind of feel it out and hopefully things will work out um, because who knows what happened <laughs> in the future. Well I guess so and as you say see what happens but I wish you all the very best for the future and hopefully you know you find the career that you want to follow and thank you very much for your time sort of talking to me this afternoon. Oh thank you. This has been Diana Jarvis speaking to Oriana Campbell-Palmer.